And tonight we hear from people in Jones County who say they're frustrated with the chief tax assessor and his board. A petition is going around to remove and replace the board. Ellie Milliken went to Jones County to hear their complaints. Some people in Jones County say the county tax assessors are mishandling property values and they're tired of it. They're citing two state reports that say property values are set too low and don't accurately reflect sales. The state calls that low sales ratio. That's why Matthew Sims and Alan Woodrum started a petition to remove the board of assessors and the chief assessor. It's important that he takes responsibility for what he's doing because it's his job. He's the head of the, he's not just a staffer, he's the head of the tax department. I mean the assessor. You know, he is the chief tax assessor, so the book stops there. That's why he needs to pay attention and be responsible for what he's doing. Matthew Sims has lived in Jones County since he was two. He raised his children there and wants Jones County to stay great. But he is worried the tax assessor and board could start costing the county more money. The audit is there to be viewed. So I don't know why he's not looking at the same criteria that the state is looking at. I mean, I, you know, you can, you can go back and forth on that all day long if he wants to. But the end result is the state says you're not doing it right. Chief Assessor Anthony George says the ratio is low because sales are rising faster than their assessments. He says the problem started with rising prices after the COVID pandemic and they have a plan to get assessments back in line with prices. Alan Woodrum says he does not believe this. They do it again for the third time. Not only do they fine us, but they won't accept our tax digest. County will have to borrow money when they run out until they can get it straight. George calls it a fixable situation that won't last, but Sims and Woodrum want to know why this has happened twice. In Jones County, Ellie Milliken, 13 WMAZ News. Sims says dozens of people have signed his petition. Now, if 100 people sign, he says the county commission will have to act on it, and he hopes to get 500 signatures.